to Montreal. One in seven of all British holidaymakers gets away from it all in a caravan. But as well as a home market of at least five million people, the industry earns well over five million a year selling overseas. From less than 300 pounds to well over 2,000, the range covers mini trailers to maxi mobile homes. This is the largest in the show, the two bedroom travel master with a lounge nearly 14 feet long. A quarter of a million British people live in mobile homes. In America, one in four of all family homes bought last year was a mobile one. For the first time, the caravan show has a large section devoted to camping, the cheapest way of all to wake up to the wide open spaces. Ideal compromise for high-speed campers, the trailer tent. It unfolds in a jiffy. For 50 quid and plenty of puff, you've got an inflatable igloo. Talking of air pressure, a well-known Newmarket firm has modified a standard 14-footer and built the first hovercraft caravan in the world. Two 600cc engines provide the power and the lift. Whether it'll be more of a hazard than a help on the road, I leave you to guess. But don't get the wind up, it's only experimental. No room for experiment when you've got to drive 10,000 miles non-stop. Peter Harper and David Pollard will be driving this very modified Lotus Cortina with fuel injection engine all the way to Australia. One of the entries in the London to Sydney rally, it has everything for efficient marathon motoring. All instruments, including the gauges for the three fuel tanks, are separately wired. As well as comfort and safety, every exposed piece of the car has been strengthened and shielded. Plenty of rocks on the way to Sydney, but they've left no stone unturned to make sure they get there. <laughs> 